Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. There can be no country to talk about without uh, citizens. And some of us have chosen to speak for the downtrodden Zambians. And when we see that something is going wrong, it is our duty to speak out. We don't want posterity to judge us harshly that uh, there were people, but they were not speaking against wrong things that were being uh, done or perpetuated. Uh, that is why when we see something going wrong, it is our duty to support one another. Because supporting one another does not only mean when you vote for somebody but you are supporting them. It simply means that even if you didn't vote for somebody, but if he's making a mistake, you guide them, then you are supporting that person. In Bemba they say, Munonko ngafiala uiloa akakule ngela chikuta. Uchiwe mbabatila, Munonko ngafiala uiloa akakule ngela chikuta. Because you really don't know who can look after you. Mbulandu me, nga ifiarile andi. Mbulandu me, nga ifiarile andi. Yesterday I was listening to the main news at 19 hours on ZNBC. And I was extremely shocked by the pronouncements which was made by the chief government spokesperson. And this is no other than Cornelius Mwetua. Cornelius Mwetua Mwachi Wandichwe Mbachitila Teka Kasanda Mulinso Power corrupts Absolutely power corrupts And the power is sweet But it must be It must be checked Don't abuse ZNBC And media houses By issuing statements That are not making sense We expect you as chief government Spokesperson When you come on uh, TV or when you address the media, you should address issues that are affecting the people negatively or positively. But particularly, you have to focus your energies on issues that are going to improve the living standards of our people. Issues that are, seem to be personal and uh, uh, issues that have a connotation of uh, vengeance, have a connotation of uh, revenge, should not be brought to the national uh, broadcaster because that is tantamount to wasting people's time. Mr. Muetwa said yesterday that government is contemplating, contemplating to take President Edgar Lungu to court for possible criminal charges that are not included in his uh, immunity. And he said that we are looking at obtaining money or services by post false pretense that uh, President Edgar Lungu, uh, the action to revert to uh, active politics is the reason why they would want to take him to court and prosecute him for receiving benefits by false pretense and also that uh, 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 he uttered a false document to cabinet. I used to think that you are a very reasonable person, but the way you are carrying yourselves these days is clearly showing that there's something wrong with your head. There's something very seriously uh, wrong with the, with the, the way you, you think. Look, 
Kenneth Kaunda was the first former president to have gone into retirement and announced his comeback. Did we see the MMD government take Kaunda to court? That he uttered a, a, a false document that he had resigned? Did we see the, uh, uh, the, the, the MMD government arrest Kaunda or prosecute him for anything? The answer is no. The second president who had come out of retirement was President Bwezani Lungu under the PF government. He announced that he had resigned from active politics. And later on, he came back and attempted to stand in 2015. Did you see the PF government waste their energy and time to say that we are going to prosecute, uh, 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 prosecute President uh, uh, Bwezani Banda for coming back to active politics and that he should pay back the benefits that he earned during the retirement period? Alabaned, you want to say and I want to say it. In Sony, Ubuntu. By UPND, you've got an opportunity to rewrite the history of this country by stopping rhetoric. What we saw and what we heard we were saying yesterday was rhetoric. And this is a clear example of a failed regime. If government is busy with sorting out the issues affecting the people of Zambia, particularly the living conditions of the people, the economy, the overflying uh, 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 rate of the kwacha to the dollar or the exchange rate. I don't see the chief government spokesperson spending time to talk about government contemplating taking President Edgar Lungu to court. What offense has he committed? I mean, there's no law that says that if you write a letter to government as former president that you have resigned and later on decide to come back to active politics, then you should be prosecuted for obtaining a, a, a pecuniary advantage or indeed the benefits. President Edgar Lungu did not uh, miss his word. He said that uh, he had gone back to active politics and that he was ready to give away all the benefits that goes with the office of the uh, ex-president. How then can a government, a reasonable government, a working government, a serious government be contemplating taking such a human being to court to answer criminal charges? Please stop putting our judges and major streets on trial. Because these are learned uh, individuals who know what they are supposed to do. But by mere fact that they are being threatened, sometimes they may be, uh, you know, uh, uh, forced to make certain decisions that will try and expose them as if they don't know what they are doing. Some of these judges were appointed by President uh, Aga Inde Ichilema. And really, it becomes very difficult when they are put in an awkward situation. So my appeal to you, government, is that concentrate on issues that are going to bring put, uh, to, uh, to put food on the table of uh, the poor Zambians. The mere fact that you people are enjoying breakfast, lunch, dinner and supper and three meals, that you are driving expensive GX vehicles, you are getting free fuel from government, does not mean that even the ordinary people in the streets are able to afford these essential uh, uh, you know, services. We heard you, government, please concentrate on resolving the issues in the economy that will ultimately give a good living standards to our people. This idea of wasting time or diverting attention to non-issues must come to an end. We know these things. You know that this government has terribly failed, completely failed, and they want to bring issues that will divert things from, uh, from uh, uh, you know, um, real issues to start discussing these non-issues. I don't think it is right for government to think this way. And you see, the problem with us uh, Zambians is that we don't realize 
that what this government is doing is what I may call uh, poke and see. Try and put a, a certain narrative and see your reactions. If your reaction is lukewarm, they will take that direction. But we cannot start setting certain precedences that will not stand the test of time and that will only make Zambia a laughing stock in the eyes of the international community. This pending decision by government, please vacate it. President Haga Inde Ichilema, vacate this decision. And for you, my other brothers and sisters, if you are being used by the president to do certain things, you must know that the president has got immunity for any a, a mistake or offenses committed during the execution of these uh, duties. But you policeman, you muetwa, you, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 magistrates and judges, do you have that immunity? Look at people that were used in the past to do certain things, how they are suffering to go to court alone. And the people that may have been forcing them to do these things are seated comfortably in their homes. Please, Zambians, let's for once do the right thing. This decision of uh, wanting to arrest President Ed Edgar Lungu and uh, uh, prosecute, him, uh, prosecute him for those uh, uh, alleged criminal offenses, I can only describe it as a foolish way of thinking, very foolish way of thinking. So my dear brother uh, Mwetua and whoever is uh, uh, trying to bring that trajectory, please vacate it. We are not ready as Zambians to start wasting money, time and uh, uh, all uh, other resources in trying to uh, prosecute President Edgar Lung. The man had resigned. Then later on, he had a change of mind and come back to active politics. Where is the criminality in this matter? Where is the criminality? Don't turn this country into a police state. We beg you, don't turn this country into a police state. And this idea of daring everybody, daring everybody, daring the church, daring the NGOs, daring the citizens must come to an end. Countrymen amano mambulwa yafuma muchulu ya yamuifuesa. Elo kabidi amano mapuli to pula pula fie. Amano mapuli to pula pula fie. So nde mulomba imumweba nensu kwa. Please listen to the stakeholders. You cannot run this country alone with your own thinking without uh, having recourse to what the other stakeholders are saying. It is surprising that one week or two weeks after it was heavily criticized that government must stop this unnecessary arrest of, uh, of opposition leaders. Last week, we saw the arrest of Lusambo. For merely, as he was coming from the Copper Belt, he passed through the a bus station at a takeaway to buy a pie. And obviously you know that uh, certain individuals and certain politicians, when they, they go to the general public, people gather and just wanting to... Like yesterday, you saw when the president went to ShopRite. Did the president arrange those people to come and, uh, <laughs> and uh, 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 have a glimpse on him? They, it, people just came. Surely, how can you go and arrest people for that particular uh, 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 situation? Lusambo was merely on his way, and uh, he had obviously arranged with his, uh, the provincial uh, 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 chairman and one or two people that as he passes Cabo, he will meet them at the takeaway, buy the pie, and uh, say hi to them and proceed. But because people gathered when they saw Lusambo, you go and arrest him at unlock and law for assembly. Is he the one who brought those people to come and welcome him? Or is he the one who brought those people to come and greet him? Please, let's act above board. This thing that we are doing will haunt us for the rest of our lives. Sean Tembo 
was arrested again last week. And as I speak today, he's still behind bars. Why are you doing these things against the advice of all stakeholders? And a pompousity in leadership that does not take people anywhere. To the contrary, it only destroys you. What you are doing if you think you are building yourselves or you are intimidating people, certain people cannot be intimidated. Some of us cannot be intimidated by your action to try and arrest us every time we speak. In an island, and I want to say it again, that Narishimpula, Narishimpula ngo musunga, foyafio kwa kushomutwe. So this thing of wanting to arrest us, you know, are you telling us that even if I have something to do in the market, I should be scared of going in the market because if people come and uh, uh, want to see, have a glimpse of Chishimba Kambwidi, I should be arrested for unlawful assembly. Come on, come on, come on. I was arrested for unlawful assembly at my own house. Panga and Pamwandi, Ninjikala, in Shishi, when we shot Abantualaisa, people just came, and as a leader, I had to give them a, 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 a listening here. And I was arrested. Sean Tembo has been arrested too. Unlawful assembly at his own residence. Nikwisa Tuleya, Mwam Nina, ne. Please listen when people speak. This thing that you are doing is wrong. Give people free will and freedom to exercise their rights as enshrined in the Bill of Rights in our Constitution. Vane, power is sweet, but it must be checked. That power that you have is very temporal. Are you sure that we should run the country uh, in this situation, in this uh, fashion, that we after you get out of office, you must be persecuted. You must be re elected, at, I mean, uh, arrested and detained in police detention. And this idea of you arrest somebody who lives in Matero, you go and put them at Westwood Police Station, which is about 15 kilometers from Lusaka. Are you sure this is the right thing that you are doing? There are police stations everywhere. If an offense is committed in Matero, there is a police station in Matelo. And if somebody is detained from Matelo, let that person be detained in Matelo police station. If somebody is, uh, is uh, charged at Woodlands uh, police post, he must be charged at Woodlands police station. If one is, uh, 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 you know, uh, is given a call out from uh, Ibex police station, why go and interview them, arrest them at at Ibex and then go and detain them at Bamora. Gentlemen, these things will haunt you for the rest of life. Right. like that. How are you going to feel? But we should not continue under this trajectory. Let bygones be bygones and let's focus our energies in working together as a country and making sure that we all bring our ideas and heads together and make sure we confront these things that are uh, happening uh, in the economy and the social sector, etc., etc. This idea of wanting to arrest your friends, be unfair to your friends, must come to an end. I'm only giving you advice because those people that you are with who are eating with you will not tell you this because they want favors from you. Please stop this thing. I hope and trust that this plan to arrest President Edgar Lungu and charge him with obtaining a pecuniary advantage, obtaining a benefits by false pretense, will not stand because the man resigned. He gave you the letter. Then he came back and said, I have now come back again to active politics, which clearly shows the man had resigned. So which case are you going to give him? You just want to draw attention and uh, divert all the, the, the attention to this non-issue. 
Mwe tuwa mwe tuwa ndi. Iliwe pala baku pela. Teri ya kwa angasha. Ilo tuwa le kula bale tuwa taba ama pala ba amano. Nomba mwambu. Mwala surisha haba ntuwa ba ama pala. Iliwe pala le saku pela. Dibu mfie wino. Ukula anga wa ntuwa tuwa a reasonable person. Stop wasting taxpayers money. On things that are neither here nor there. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.